Hey guys, I'm Keen 47 aka Wolfkeen, and I'm here with you with a bit of a different video. So, as you can see in the footage, I'm actually walking around a toy store, but not just any toy store. I'm walking around my local Toys R Us because, if you aren't in the know, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you are in the know, as of June 29th, or in some stores June 28th, Toys R Us, Toys R Us's around the US are going to be officially closing. So I thought it would be like, you know, important for me to upload this video while also showing some background footage of me perusing through my local Toys R Us before it gets shut down. This was recorded months in advance, by the by. I wanted to record this right at the moment um, I heard about the bankruptcy because I wanted to show the Toys R Us still like stocked with stuff and different kinds of things and otherwise, while also giving my own little history of Toys R Us. But, um... Yeah, if I was to go to a Toys R Us now, I'm pretty sure it would be near empty compared to this, so I wanted to record the footage beforehand so that way I could give you I could give the store some justice to show what the store was like, but I'm pretty sure you all know what Toys R Us was. If you grew up in like any kind of like, you know, if you grew up around a Toys R Us or a KB Toys, you'll pretty much know it was like a toy mega store, like a store where a kid can be a kid. I mean, that's where the slogan "I'm a Toys R Us kid" came from, and very much so. Like this was the place that my parents took me a lot of the time to buy a lot of my birthday gifts or even Christmas gifts, and I've also bought a few smaller things for myself here many times over. Like I bought myself the My Little Pony vinyls that I currently have in my collection. I actually bought myself a couple of games and otherwise from here. I've also bought myself um, a few things for my nephew, a board game or two. And as well, I actually have a pretty good memory of this Toys R Us in particular because this is the same Toys R Us where I got my Pokemon Gold and Silver Pikachu Pichu Edition Game Boy Color, which was one of my, my birthday gifts along with... Uh, um, Super Mario Bros. Deluxe and Mario Tennis. And just, like, looking through all this footage, like, it really does make me nostalgic. It makes me feel nostalgic for Toys R Us because soon there won't be a store like this that's just nothing but toys for, like, a place for a kid to be a kid and otherwise. It's just so weird to see it like this. And, like I said, if I was to go to the Toys R Us now, I'm pretty sure, like, at the time of this recording, it's the day of the night it closes. Um, I'm pretty sure it would be near empty compared to the footage, and that's kind of why I wanted to record this footage so you get an idea of what this Toys R Us really looked like and what it was like, you know, it was meant to be, and you kind of get the whole idea. It's just a place for people to have fun, for adults, kids, grandparents, uncles, and otherwise to be a kid again, but to also buy some really cool stuff for their kids. And again, it's just kind of sad to see this go, but I can't really say it's not faultless. Toys R Us unfortunately made a lot of business, like, like bad business decisions, as well as failing to adopt to the times of the digital age. Many stores have fallen into this trap, unfortunately. Radio Shack being a good example of this, not being able to adapt to the digital age of things, like adapt to the online demographic like Best Buy has. Best Buy has been able to adapt to the online demographic a lot better, which is why Best Buy is still around. Hell, if you were to basically like match prices with Amazon, Best Buy will actually sell you an item for that same price, and I'm not even joking, but that's what I'm trying to say. Best Buy remains relevant because it understands the digital age and understands where it needs to adapt. Unfortunately, Toys R Us did not do this, and in a lot of other ways, it unfortunately made a lot of other bad decisions that led to its unfortunate, unfortunate bankruptcy. And again, it is sad to say that, but Toys R Us could have probably prevented this if they adapted to the digital age of things and otherwise. And I always wanted one of those. I always wanted one of those when I was younger, like seriously. Always wanted one of those. <laughs> but yeah. So I can't really say like Toys R Us being shut down is a completely guiltless thing or whatever. But yeah, it's like, it's just kind of weird to look at this footage because it just makes me nostalgic. It makes me like, un like you know, really remember my times and every every time I went to this Toys R Us, whether with my parents or otherwise. Hell, I bought my first bike out of this Toys R Us. Not even joking. I guess to put it simply, this is more or less just a retrospective video of my thoughts and opinions of Toys R Us and otherwise. And 
man, like I said, seeing this footage is just super nostalgic. I'm glad I recorded all this before the store became less and less empty. And it just makes me, like, you know, it just makes me sad that Toys R Us is now going away. It really does make me feel like I've grown up. I'm no longer a kid anymore. I'm no longer able to enjoy this kind of stuff anymore. And that just makes me super sad in almost every kind of way, unfortunately. Oh, man. Oh, well. But still, Toys R Us, you had a very good run going for you, and you were a part of mine and a lot of other people's childhoods. So, I can't say anything more, but Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. You were one of the best ones, and God, am I going to miss you. So with that said, I hope you like this little retrospective I decided to do. I know it's a little bit on the short side, but I wanted it to be short for the sake of information and otherwise. So anyways, guys, till next time, I'm Keenan 47 aka Wolfkeen. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, guys, take care.